Okay, doing a little work on the verticals today. Strikes me I never made a good video of the phased verticals here. So here's what we've got. Come in for a little closer look. They're full-size quarter wave verticals. Spaced a quarter wave apart. Here's the one that got messed up by ice that I repaired, kind of. This box down here is for uh, 30 meters. Hang on. When I want to get on 30 meters, I hook this up and use a single vertical and uh, run the feed line from the phasing box directly to this. So it ends up being a 3 8 wave single vertical for 30. And it works quite well with this little uh, homebrew base matching network. But let's uh, walk down here. Here's the northwest vertical. And it's a quarter wave apart. And I was doing a little regular maintenance here. Checking the tuning. Here's my uh, tuning network. The sun's bright today. So what I have here is a uh, relay switch box here that switches between northwest or southeast or a broadside figure eight pattern. Down underneath this metal plate is the phasing line. I use the Chrisman method. And this LC tuner here is what I'm checking out this morning to make sure it's still good, and it is. Using the Chrisman uh, phasing method, if you don't uh, tune it, you get about a 2, 2.3 to 1 SWR, which is fine. My amplifier certainly will handle that no problem. But since I had the components, I decided to make a, in the room here in this box, I decided to make a little matching network. So that's what I was doing here. Got the uh, MFJ. And I've got it tuned for the CW part of the band where the DX is. So right around 7027 and if I go up to 7210 it's about 1.9 now I could improve that by adjusting the matching section but that's the way I want it so we're gonna leave it like that anyway that's the system let me go in and see if I can give you an on-the-air demo. The front to back is uh, can be pretty exceptional at times. Hang on just a second. Okay, I got the feed line hooked up here now. And I'm going to run inside and see if we can get a little demo, at least on receive, of what the front to back might be here. So stand by. Okay, now we're in the shack, and uh, let's see. Okay, here's my controller over here. And the green light is the northwest direction, the blue light is southeast, and the red light is a broadside figure eight. So let's see if we can uh, find somebody here this morning. There's a difference there. That's northwest. 
That's southeast. Not too much of a difference on that guy. Let me uh, tune around a bit. Okay, we're a little bit out of our resonant range here on East Cars, but there's some activity up here, so let me give a little demo here. You'll get an idea of uh, how it works. The front to back is uh, usually pretty strong, in some cases 30 dB or so. Okay, he's 20 over. I flipped to the opposite direction, he's about an S8. Okay. There's broadside. Okay, you too. Good to hear you on Earl. Southeast. Uh two Tango Sierra. whole lot of nothing on the band here this morning. Probably not the best time to do this. But... So anyway... Depending on where the station's at, I can see between 20 and as much as 35 dB difference. There's about an S7, S8. About 10 over. I don't hear the other station. Anyway, that's a quick uh, look at the phased verticals. I've been meaning to do this for a while. Now, the one problem with these is they're a little bit noisy. I have a receive antenna, which is a horizontal doublet, about 130 feet long. And you can maybe hear the difference. Let me turn up the volume. Let me switch to the horizontal antenna. And I don't know if you can... I was trying to think there. Uh, Bill, did you ever change the uh, high voltage capacitors? And Maybe in see a little amplifier? bit of a difference on the pan adapter. Uh, the high voltage capacitor and the amplifier? Yeah, did you ever... Sometimes it makes a huge uh, difference. Those four, uh, the uh, receive antenna can be quite a bit lower noise at times. Anyway, I see I have a spot on my lens here too. Sorry about that, in the upper left corner. I guess I'll have to clean that off. Anyway, that's the uh, quarter wave verticals. I've been using them for a few years now, all made out of scrap aluminum. And um, really excellent performers. Let's go down to CW. Just for a minute, this is where I usually use them down here in the uh, extra part of the band. Now you can see a little bit clearer if the pan adept will focus. That's the verticals. And see how the baseline drops with the horizontal receiving antenna. A little bit noisier on the verticals. But it's got some gain and it's got some front to back and it comes in real handy. So, that's a quick video on the homemade homebrew quarter wave phased verticals. Best 40 meter antenna I ever had. That's it for now. Keep on tinkering. See y'all later.